I remember the day. Actually, it was very late in the shoot. You know, you're kind of, you're kind of uh, um, a little tired and kind of uh, weather beaten from sitting out in the sun all day. And there was a massive crossing that had just taken place. Probably about four or five thousand animals had had just finished crossing. And we were kind of competing for space with other safari vehicles and other visitors who were all there. And we all, over the next half hour, witnessed like one of the mo most heart-wrenching scenes you'd ever imagine. What we witnessed was a, a, an extremely strong male calf, probably about seven or eight months old, struggling for its life with this massive croc attached to its backside. So he's wailing, calling, you know, like, um, these, you know, just heart-wrenching sounds coming from this animal. But we noticed out of those kind of bushes came this female. And, you know, it's hard to tell whether this was mom or not, but it certainly seemed like that was the case. She had kind of come all the way back, left the herd to come back to what seemed to be the calls of her calf, who was now stuck in the jaws of this croc. And it was hard to watch. He kept pulling the croc, literally, out of the water with him. He was so strong, he was like pulling himself up on the bank and this massive, you know, 12 foot crotch just attached to his backside. And he would um, sort of struggle for a while and then like get tired and the, the croc would kind of drag him back in the water, but not fully underwater. So he was still alive, his head's up out of water like this. And he's calling, calling, calling. It just got deafeningly quiet. And all you could hear was the call of this calf trying to get away from this croc. And they had this moment where uh, she came down and they almost, you know, like sort of touching noses and sort of, she was basically coming down to basically say goodbye or at least to compel him to, to keep biting. And he tried as best as he could. The mother seemed to have turned around, kind of gave up and moved on. And the calf gave up as well and was pulled underwater. And that was sort of the end of this whole scenario. But it was extremely heart-wrenching and emotional. And we all just kind of took a deep breath and, you know, wiped the tears from our eyes. And it was it was really hard. And I thought, okay, I'm going to pick up the sat phone and I'm going to call my kids. Because <laughs> I haven't seen them in three and a half weeks and, and I miss them. And this just really got to me. So it was, it was tough. But um, just one of the most amazing scenes uh, that I've ever witnessed in nature.